everyone. So this is uh, Derek and uh, I'm back with another video on how to do market basket analysis, but this time using Rapid Miner software. Now, please check out my uh, other video on an introduction to Rapid Miner if you have not seen it because it was really, really help you to understand uh, how to understand the uh, various environment um, when it comes to Rapid Miner. So let's just get right into Right. So first off, I just want to explain to you the uh, data set that we're using for this example. Uh, there's a transaction data of about 10,000 uh, records. Uh, and you notice that we also have uh, payment uh, details as well, date of transaction, uh, transaction value and, and payment method. But actually what we're most concerned about and really, really uh, effective is this uh, list of um, items uh, that people bought uh, and you see a code of ones and zeros and this is sometimes how market basket analysis data is being represented. Now if you have data that's represented like this using your um, uh, what it, uh, rapid miner would be a great tool but if you have um, transaction data where it shows the list of items uh, as a row uh, in CSV format, then you may want to think about using Power BI. So check out my video on that one and you will see uh, the differences. Okay, so for how we're going to look into uh, using Rapid Miner is uh, just very simple steps that we, we can we can see here is basically to uh, go through all these steps so that um, we can create uh, the uh, meaningful visualizations that we need for our uh, uh, market basket analysis. So firstly, of course, you need to uh, load the transaction data. Now you can either load the transaction data or or, or, or just uh, bring the transaction data into uh, the uh, repository and uh, drag and drop into the Right. So the next thing you need to do is to select the uh, I, uh, only the item attributes because it's the item attributes are like the list of the items, as I mentioned, the ones and zeros. Uh, you got to drag it and drop it into the canvas, and you need to uh, do this in a in a form of a subset so that you don't have to do it one by one. Yeah, when you come into the parameter later on, uh, and then from here you you basically uh, will be able to um, uh, just generate the uh, items and push all over into the right side. Next, what you need to do is because the data is coded as one and zeros, you need to change the data to code as true and false. And this is basically changing uh, the attribute type from numerical to binomial so that it becomes a boolean. Then determine the frequent item sets. Now this is basically using what we call the uh, frequent pattern or the FP growth set to find out what is the highest uh, support uh, for the items that, that, that is brought together. And this is where you can use the terms of support um, or even confidence. So please check out my video on the market basket analysis using Power BI so that you understand a little bit about what is support, confidence and lift. Uh, and for this one, I'm going to change it to just a minimum support of 20% and I'll explain a little bit further uh, in the uh, demo later on. Then you've got to create the association rules uh, and the rules are basically for product recommendations depending on the confidence of rules. Uh, I've also changed the uh, confidence to 0 0.5 for this data set because it's uh, a bit too high if you ch just take the default and make sure that all the process links to the ports and then you run it and you will see the results as such. Uh, you can also look at that two items are the most, um, are, the, are the minimum items which are linked together and maximum there are four items which are linked together in terms of buying together. You also see uh, maximum support and uh, minimum support as well. You also get to see other uh, data like, um, uh, for example, uh, things like um, uh, lift and, and, and confidence. Yeah, so this is where you see the lift and the confidence. You can uh, actually um, uh, 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 sort the um, data in terms of the highest confidence and the highest lift or the highest support. So it really depends on what you want to do.
the best thing about this is that you can also do a graph uh, and I'll show you how the graph works right but when you go to uh, your 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 uh, cursor to any of the rules they will tell you what are the rules are so if, for example like this one if you want to buy coffee and beer or you want people to buy more coffee and beer then you should get them to go together with milks and sweets uh, and which has a support of 0 0.19 which is 90 percent of the entire uh, transactions confident of 62 percent as well as a lift of 1.86 so this shows uh, strong confidence and strong supports uh, milk and sweets are bought together with coffee and beer uh, next, I'm just going to show you a quick demo on how uh, this is done and simulated on RapidMiner. All right, so I'm going to show you a very quick uh, run through on how to do market basket using uh, RapidMiner. So you've already got your RapidMiner, uh, and uh, make sure your transaction data is loaded into your repository. If you have not, you can press the import button, and you will bring your transaction data into the repository. So I've already got mine, so I'm just going to load my transaction data inside. Uh, I need to select my attributes. Make sure I'm just only selecting the um, uh, what do you call this? The item sets only. I'm just gonna very quickly uh, connect this uh, uh, to it so that I can check what my attributes are, uh, which is the subset. So I'm only gonna collect. Uh, connect uh, sorry select only the item set so i'm going to take out date of transaction id payment method transaction id and as well as uh, transaction value okay and i'm going to apply that uh, i'm going to make sure that i change my numerical values because it is in numerical to binomial to make sure that it is in true and false uh, i'm going to place in my uh, FP growth uh, in my associations uh, in sites and uh, I'm want to make sure that my support is at 0 0.2 because a 0 0.95 is a little bit too large and I'm going to create my association rules uh, association rules and I'm going to place it inside there, make sure I have the connection. And this association rules, I'm going to make sure that my minimum confidence is at 0 0.5 so that I don't uh, 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 have too large of a confidence. So remember, you're creating the uh, frequent pattern in terms of the items that will come out. Uh, I also want to make sure that I know what are the items that will come out so that at least I can see what are the items that, that will come out from the market basket. So I'm just going to run this. Everything looks good. Now, as you can see, uh, you get three windows. Uh, of course, I'm just going to look at the example set first, but this one is just basically telling you how the numericals were changed into a uh, uh, binomial and doesn't really do much. But what's the more important is uh, you have this set, which is uh, uh, by support. Now you remember what support is. Support is just basically uh, how much uh, frequency of the um, transactions that uh, is being bought. So you have about 44% of people who bought coffee uh, and the uh, items that go together uh, in terms of the confidence and you also have the association rules in terms of support in terms of the um, um, list of items that come together as well as the confidence that you have now remember to please go and read up on what support confidence and lift is so that you understand the terms so uh, one of the best things that I can do is that I can also just show if let's say uh, what will people want to buy in terms of if let's say people buy certain things, the premise, and they will ultimately buy coffee. That means if let's say you want to be selling coffee, um, you can also see what are the items that are associated to coffee and how much support uh, they, that will come about. Uh, and then, of course, in terms of confidence uh, and, of course, in terms of lifts. So you can see that the best lift 
is the combination of coffee and beer. If let's say you want to get people to buy more coffee and buy more beer, sell sweets. Hmm. That's according to this particular data set. So in terms of a graph, you can also, now this is a little bit too messy because all the rules are there. You can also look at just coffee and milk. Oops, sorry. Coffee and milk. And you can see uh, how coffee, milk, beer, sweets, they, they tend to link to each other in terms of the note graph. Uh, you can have an isom or you can also have a circle so you can see even better. Uh, but if you look at, if you run your uh, thing over the rule, you notice that if you want people to buy coffee and milk, they'll show you the, 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 the confidence um, as well as the support. And uh, you see that they give you uh, 0 0.19 uh, support, a lift of 1.88. That's a very good lift, actually. Uh, putting beer and sweets together would, uh, would um, indicate that people will buy coffee and milk after that. And then in rule 13, which is a much better rule, in fact, uh, you have beer. Uh, and then also people who buy uh, coffee and milk. So this is how you get the association between your data sets. So uh, have a go, have a try, uh, understand the meaning. Again, remember to really, really understand the meaning of what support, confidence and lift is so that you really understand uh, how this works and how important this uh, uh, thing can work for you. And of course, if you want to, you can either write this whole thing uh, into uh, 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 Excel sheet so you can play around with it as, as well uh, in terms of the data and so on and so forth. So thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you really uh, uh, had uh, found some really good uh, nuggets and uh, please check out my other videos as well uh, on uh, Rapid Miner uh, in certain uh, things that you do. Now if you want to use uh, Power BI, you can also use Power BI depending on the data set that you have. Thank you very much.